during the winter when the snow is very high then the rabbits and the hares come and they eat the branches of uh, your apple tree just nibble right through them but uh, still it's very nice that uh, the apple blossom will begin to come out now which is really good this is a high bush blueberry I planted them this year I had to put in special acid soil for them this is my red currant bush red currant bush it looks like we've got a good season plenty of flowers on them at the moment although it has some red apple blister on it it's the rhubarb it's been going now for about three weeks we already had a rhubarb pie made out of it so we're looking forward to having more during the summer these are dwarf bush beans planted them about two weeks ago and now they're just coming up marvellous Last year, last year all of my onions were infected by onion flies, so this year I've put them under some hearts or some. So they're coming up now. These are some shallots that I've got going. You get about five onions from uh, one onion. They're very good. I like them very much. I love chilies. And they have a little lean-to glass house. And I've planted some chili mix in here. And I think that... Uh, and I think that... Uh, hopefully we'll get some chilies later on in the season. I'm really happy about this plant. It's a bramble bush blackberry. They don't survive very well in Finland. You can see here that the stem has uh, died off uh, during the winter because of the temperature dropping down to about minus 30. I've got two of them, another one over there, and again you can see there's this die by, so it just dies off. But what is good is that down here it's putting out new shoots. So hopefully in a couple of years' time this is going to be a, a bramble briar patch. I don't know if I'm going to enjoy it because sometimes it can get a little bit prickly and thorny little flower bed with the grape hyacinth and uh, this is a plant which I like it's euphorbia uh, I've got three of them growing there that's the other one this the family one here is called Ukkunhata, it gives lovely blue flowers. As do these ones here, hopefully, which are alliums, which should give flower heads about the size of a tennis ball with blue flowers. Another blue flower plant is uh, this one here, it's called Jacob's Ladder. Some lilies coming up there. Some tulips. More euphorbia. And this one here is uh, Monardia. Gives red flowers. It's also 
it's a North American plant. You can take the leaves and make tea out of it. It was called Oswego tea. Last year I went into the forest and I dug up uh, these ferns. They are called uh, Potpensivit or Eagle's Wing ferns. And I was surprised that I was actually able to transplant plant them and bring them here. So there's another one just coming up through the ground there, which is uh, This is the three apple trees that I've got in the backyard. Must have been planted at different times. Daddy bear, mommy bear and baby bear. There are, I think there are three different uh, types of apple. So you get them coming at different times in the season. And they're quite lovely. I've made uh, dried apple rings out of them in, during the winter. Just coming out in blossom now. This one was a very heavy cropper last year. I think we had to put some of them into the compost. There were just so many of them. It looks like we might have another good crop this year. We don't have frost to kill off these uh, blossoms. This uh, flowering tree is called Tuomi and uh, absolutely marvellous flowers on it and a uh, beautiful scent coming from it and uh, I got some advice if you break the branches off these and put them round about your uh, blueberry bushes then it uh, keeps the rabbits away so I have done that down at the blueberry bushes must be something to do with the smell of the bark This is a nice bush, it's called Lumi Palo Paisi, might be a snowball hortense, but you can see here and there. See where those little black things are? Aphids all around about it. Why does there have to be so many of these little insects that do damage to your plants? It's not fair, is it? So there's the corner of the garage with the drain pipe, it comes down here like that and then what do we have? We have this amazing construction which goes down there and collects water in this drum. I built it the other day there because I was just getting tired of taking water from the house and water's expensive, you have to pay for it. So I've collected a barrel of water in a day.